Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, what are the most commonly used predefined functions of XPath expressions or XPath language? Let me answer. Here, I have listed some five XPath functions that we can use in the XPath expressions or while creating the XPath expressions for locating the elements. They are text, contains, starts with, last, and position. Out of these five also, even more than five also exists. But these are the general ones that people refer to. And out of these five also, the top three, that is text, contains, starts with, are most commonly used. And out of these three, again, text contains are priority one, priority two kind of, okay? These two are mainly used after that starts with, okay? Most commonly used are text contains starts with. For this question, the answer is these three functions of X path, that is text, contains, and starts with. Remaining, you know, you don't use that much, okay? Maybe you may get a situation where you have to use, you may use it, okay? But majorly or most commonly used ones are these three, okay? Fine. Anyhow, I'll demonstrate all these things for you in a practical way. First, we'll start with the text function, how to use a text function. Simple. Let me go to this uh, sample application, omai.blogspot.com. And uh, in this, uh, here we have a, uh, check this button. I would like to locate this, inspect this. Once I inspect that, uh, here I'll get the HTML code of this uh, particular button. I can see the HTML code. You see, button is there, no ID, name, class name. It's not a hyperlink. So either we have to go with the CSS selectors or XPath expressions. I'll prefer the XPath expressions. I'll copy the text which is there between the button tags, okay? I'll copy the text which is there between the button tags. I'll simply say Control F. And here, I'll type double slash button. And there is some text between the tags, right? But referring to the text between the tags, I'll use text function is equal to give this text in the checkbox fields. Now, this is locating this button, you see? This XPath expression, which is using the text function, is able to locate the this particular button with the help of the text that is there between the tags. That's the purpose of the text function. Okay. Now what next? Text function, there is a rule like you have to provide the entire text. For example, if I only say check, this is a problem. It will not locate. But still, if I want to locate, then what I have to do is I have to use contains function. Okay. Contains I have to use. And inside the contents, I'll put, provide this uh, text uh, thing and I'll replace this uh, equal with comma. You see, now it's able to locate still. You don't have to give the entire text here. Partial text you can give to locate this button. Okay. You see, but text function, if you are only using text function, text is equal to then entire check this text you have to give. If you are using contains, you have to give the partial. Okay. You can give the partial text, either check or this, whatever it is. Okay. So that's what is the contains, okay? We generally use text and contains and uh, uh, contains can also be used with at the rate, uh, you know, I mean, attributes at the rate ID and all attributes you can use. So for example, here, uh, let's go with one example. Okay, so I'll just go with this uh, Facebook example. And here, inspect this. There is a problem statement. After understanding the problem statement, you will understand why you have to use contents with the attributes, okay? Then I inspected this login button. I got this HTML code and here we have the ID. Copy this ID and say control F. Simply say double slash button, double slash button, okay? If I say at the rate ID is equal to give the value of the ID, Okay, like this, you see here, u underscore, 0 underscore, 5 underscore, n plus is there. That is ID. I copied here. Now it will locate. You see, now this particular XPath expression is locating this uh, login button. Now if I refresh and say control F and press enter, now it's not locating. Because, you see, this ID got changed a bit. Not the entire ID portion is constant. Rather, you see last two letters here, instead of n plus, we got a new two letters known as KA. But u underscore, 0 underscore, 5 underscore is constant. So what I will do is, here instead of providing at the rate ID thing, which is not working because this ID value is keeping on changing, the last two letters of the ID is keeping on changing, I'll simply write contains here, contains, provide the circular brackets here, and uh, here I'll remove this uh, equal symbol with comma, that's it. Okay, press enter. 
So still the problem because you are providing the entire ID value, whatever the ID which is not constant, which is changing, right? Which is getting modified, right? Remove that, only keep the constant which is not changing even after refresh, okay? Now you see it's locating. No matter how many times you refresh, with the help of this contents, with the help of this uh, contents, okay? You can also use the, uh, not only text, okay? Contents can also be used with the text function or at the rate ID, up to you, okay? You see it's still locating. Hope you understood text and contents now starts with Starts with, uh, when you compare with contents, it's almost same, guys. but the contents can accept the constant text, which is there in the beginning, which is there in the middle, which is there at the end of that particular value or text. But starts with the constant text, for example, in this Facebook, where is a constant text? U underscore, zero underscore, five underscore is a constant text, which is not changing. The text is in the beginning, not in the middle or not in the end. So. Here in place of contents, you can also use starts with because the starts with uh, will look for this constant value, which is in the starting position of the value u underscore zero underscore five underscore. Okay. Done. So this is how it works, guys. Okay. But not always you can use starts with because if, for example, this first two letters are also changing, only middle letters are not changing. In that case, you cannot use starts with, you have to go with contents. So I generally prefer contents over starts with this, okay? But uh, knowledge purpose, you have to know this starts with also. And apart from that, we have last and position kind of stuff, okay? So what I'll do here is, uh, I'll just uh, inspect one, uh, this fruits kind of stuff, inspect this, okay? And I'll create an XPath expression to locate uh, this uh, fruits individually first. And if you can see here, there is an ID, copy this ID on the top of this list and uh, create an XPath expression, double slash dev at the rate uh, ID is equal to, give the id okay under this uh, div uh, somewhere here we have the li tags or ul tag double slash ul slash li i'll say okay now here if i say li here six elements are getting located that means all this all out of all these uh, fruits are getting located when i click on this down arrow button just look at this ui and see that apple mango orange banana grapes pomegranate okay these are the six items that are getting located with this single expired expression but i would like to locate only the apple so i'll give one here Okay, so now what's happening? Only apple is getting located. If I give three here, if I give three here, one, two, three, orange should be located. Okay, press enter. You see, orange got located. Oh, orange got located. Okay, now if I give six here, pomegranate is getting located. Okay, so but there is one problem. Let's say the problem here is uh, on one day there will be six fruits here, another day uh, they this website people may mention 10 fruits, and some other day only three fruits are mentioned. The number of count of fruits may differ and they mention they may add more fruits into this list or remove the existing fruits from the list. So the count is not constant. Okay. If I if I if I think that the count is uh, you know not changing, there will be only six fruits, then I can get the last uh, fruit with by giving six here because here six fruits are there, six is the last number. So I can look at the last one. But if this number is changing. Then still, if I want to get whether it is five fruits or 10 fruits or 15 fruits or 20 fruits, whatever that is, if I want to get that in place of this number, you just give the last function that will uh, locate the last fruit. Okay. No matter how many number of fruits are there, last fruit will be. Okay. That is the last. Okay. So in some cases, you may have to use last case. Okay. Then position. The other one is position. The position also somewhat related to this. For example, if I give one here. This is nothing but the position only, but optionally, I'm not mentioning the position, okay? Here, instead of one, simply putting one here, I can simply write the position function, position function and say equal, okay? This is also fine. Without this also, it is working in the same manner, okay? With, by providing, this is optional, guys, okay? Uh, without saying position is equal to, also working, okay? If I give position three, you see, orange will be located, like that, okay? But this is optional. If I remove also, no problem, okay? So if you want to explicitly mention this three as position is equal to three, then you can mention otherwise it's not required. Okay. So these are few uh, regularly used functions. Okay. And out of this, uh, the most commonly used ones are this uh, top three one that is text contains and starts with. So hope guys you got the answer with this uh, answer for this question with practical demonstration. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.